Hello everyone, it's Janine here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two projects. The first one is this altered book box. <coughs> this was a kit that I received from, that I bought from, um, <coughs> it's May Larson. She, it was either Creating with Details or May Larson Designs and it came with this book box laces to embellish and other embellishments <coughs> pardon for this project i only used laces that was supplied by me in this kit i didn't use any other kind of not very little from my stash and where i do find things from my stash i'll point it out to you so i covered the book box with this lovely wood drained with this grained um finished paper this is not part of the kit this was um i had bought this paper from stamperia i just love the, the the design of it so i covered the base of the book box with it on the side i again all the lace i used was from the kit this came with the kit as well gorgeous flower and all the charms that came with the kit i i hung there as well and this ribbon was from my stash as you can see on close up the legs are cut up in so many different sections um so you can see i basically used it to cover up the box if i if i can still find a link to this kit i'll i'll put it down below but i don't really think it's necessary yeah? so i added pearls you know i love pearls you know it's my kind of part of my signature and on the flower is this lace uh, gathering I did there with a doily and one of my flowers. This comes with the trimmers, with the, <laughs> this comes with the kit as well. And on the side I did the same, the lace and the pearl trim comes with the kit. Goes all the way around and yes, there's enough trim um pearl trim to cover to go all the way around i added this here to kind of imitate the clasp or lock and inside i have these two this is what i've done so obviously inside i painted because you know when you close the box you can't have too much detail on on this on the lid of the box because it still needs to seal properly so i painted and again as you can see the lace is all cut up into different sections and pieces and created that little uh, display there with all the different laces and pearls from my stash the pearls come from my stash and the bling from my stash as well on this side i created a pocket um yes and again the paper was the base for this side lace from the kit as well and this flower and again pearl trim um pearls on the inside as well and um as you can see this lace is gorgeous and that's a yard of that lace and that's the lace i some of the pieces I cut up throughout the project and of course you know you can have storage you can put stuff in there so yeah that's a quick and easy project over there but, so I'll just go through it one more time I love all these charms they all came with a kit and this piece of um, this embellishment came with a kit as well and I'm running out of my flowers because I cannot find that material anymore and it has to be that kind of material so I'm gonna have to source a new one and as soon as I find new fabric I will do a tutorial and the inside there we go okay so that's my book box and then I created a book on lace 
and fabric book Janine style and I love making books in this kind of shabby looking way you know with the little neatness so the base of my book is napkins which you cannot see anymore and you can see some of the materials I've used, lace fabric, I've used top and the bottom for the cover. At the back I have that round piece I love using and I didn't in the section and I mean I didn't put anything in there because you know normally I'll put a bling or a pearl piece but it's going to lay flat, so you don't want to put anything up here that's going to add height. And this coffee stain doily. And on the cover, I used one of these, one of those Daiso pins. And as you can see, the pin has got like a little bit of a base. Um, I know I have one out there somewhere. Um, let me just see. Uh, yeah, but it's it's a you know it's a it's a pin like this. It's just this one doesn't have that little base. I do have one somewhere, but I I'm not going to look for it now. Um, and then. So on the on the pin I created this this piece of dang fabric um collage yeah that's the word I'm looking for this collage so it's on I have that fabric at the bottom and then I have different layers of some lace material and some more fabric and this pin and this heart was gifted to me by a very dear friend her name is also Jean and um, it was it just seemed perfect to go with this um, look I was creating on the cover there's a little lace bow and a heart pole and this is just a piece of this is an embellishment that I glued down onto the pin and Underneath there's more doilies. Sorry, let me use this hand. Underneath there's more doilies. And if you look, you'll see there's a few there's a few layers. It's doily pieces and lace fabric. On the first, there's my green page. On the on the first page, these images were gifted to me by Jean as well. There's four of them and they are on paper, but I used a lot of the things that she gifted me in this book and so that's the image I put feathers in the hair and lots of different types of co this collage with different laces and fabrics around there's some green checkered fabric at the bottom and some cotton fabric and then the image and this small piece of trim around the must have been a cut off from some do from some piece of lace there as well and this embroidered flower over there it's got green in so it lends it perfectly and at the bottom we have different laces again uh, a, a collage of sorts on this side we have a pocket and That's a piece of fabric for the base and pocket and there's a little button embellishment I created. Yeah, focus. And this is also left over from that piece up top there. Uh, buttons, different pieces of strips of fabric which I've just randomly placed. And inside the pocket we have some feathers, they are green, 
to match the page obviously and so the next page or well, let's call it the pink page again these beautiful images from Jean and some of this lace in this corner here is arrow dyed and I have some ribbon roses and all kinds of little pieces of fabric and lace to create that look all part of the pink that I wanted to display on this page this is leftovers from a kit from his garden grove this is just a scattering of beads, seed beads um, where else can I show you yeah, so it's just basically a collage of fabric and laces, mostly laces and lace fabric, bits of leftovers. I made this book for my, um, I have a snippet basket, a huge snippet basket, and I'm always throwing pieces in there, and I often make projects from it, especially uh, projects that are going to need small pieces of lace like this one. Now on this page, the final page is a purple page again there's feathers over there did I put feathers over here no I put hair pieces I put the purple feather in the hair again some lace collage fabric lace collage um, there is a fabric over there some tiny purple flowers and then a piece in the hair you can see there pieces of doily Lots of different small pieces of lace, and this is just a a uh, oh, goodness gracious, I can't remember the word. Anyway, this is a nice a nice piece, applique kind of piece. Yeah, that's the word applique to be used by the recipient. And then this one is a book, a pocket page. Sorry, right. Um, pocket made out of uh, fabric and little bead cluster jewelry piece over there. Oh, that doesn't belong there. Oh, goodness. Oh, I think maybe I wanted to add it because it was a leftover piece of something. Here is a, a nice dangle and it was just pinned down with a purple pin so it's it's Lewis and inside the pocket there is these two feathers and just a piece of fabric that the recipient can use and the back of the of the book I've shown you so this book I'm calling it feathers and I will, when I post it or when I gift it, I'll put feathers. And in the pocket, I will put a little, uh, you know, I'll write something about feathers because feathers are have very significant and symbolic meaning in so many cultures. And this, in this book, feathers represent healing and looking after yourself. So I will be doing that little label there and I'll insert the write-up about the feathers in here where all the other feathers are so that's my little lace and lace more lace collage book with all kinds of bits and bobs and this is so gorgeous the way she did that and I'll just go through it again. This is a green page. Let me just put this in nicely so that it doesn't interfere with there we go. So this is the green the green page. The little embellished button. I love doing those. I always buy large buttons. I have recently bought large white ones and I made a uh, a hanging, a wall hanging out of one, and I gifted it to your lease. So, there's the pink. 
I'm quite fond of using pink in my fabric books, although um, I don't wear pink at all. And the purple page with the applique and the pocket. So, hope you like it. I like um, the cover. Well, I like the inside as well, but the cover, I really love the cover because if um, somebody asks me what's your style of crafting and if I could just show them this picture and say this is how I craft, it would be great. So, again, I'm not sure who I'm going to gift it to. I very seldom keep anything that I make for myself. Um, so, I like to give away the thing, the, the what I make. So, I will be gifting this away, gifting this. Maybe in a giveaway. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to catch up on my videos right now. I did promise a giveaway last year. But life happened. And one day when I'm big enough and brave enough. I will tell you guys about life. What happened when I say life happened. <laughs> so um, I'll probably give this away as well. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.